All right, so here comes Simulacrum number two. We got an Amethyst Flask. Our overall gear is a little bit better. Our resistances are a little bit better. Our life is a little bit better. So let's do this. Lunacy's Watch. Hmm. What? The heck? You can't even get here in Act 6. Just random ladies hanging out. Remember this ramshackle place. A second home, and yet something seems off, does it not? All right, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna take a, a quad tab this time. We're just gonna throw everything in there. You've stood against so many horrors and survived. I think it's time to at last test your limits. So every single, I think, wave, you increase your delirium by 5%. So we're going to go up. This is going to be delirium 10%. <coughs> I hope we don't have to go all the way down to the boat. This one seems to be a lot more friendly than uh, the last one we did, which was in Highgate. is delirium level three. There's just so much stuff going on. So I definitely don't want to loot vacuum for that. <laughs> oh, you can't even use your stash while this is open. I was going to be like, hmm, maybe we can throw stuff in the stash, but I guess we have plenty of space right now. Oh, wow, this cannot die. Such a great mod. Everybody complained about these serious ground effects, and so this league, they added uh, ground effects which drastically slow you. Let yourself be Good strike multi on this one.
But yeah, definitely seems like with the uh, different arenas, you could uh, definitely get some really bad layouts. Uh, Nomador maps. Alright, so this one has physical damage reduction. And they reduced my physical damage reduction. But we're getting Uniques and Harbingers. Currency. Lots of on deck death effects on these guys. Yeah, these guys don't have a lot of HP. This definitely feels pretty easy in terms of the HP values. First time anything spotted in that spot. Hmm, each head. Ah, hemophilia. Are you trying to cleanse yourself of me? Hmm. More physical damage reduction and anti-physical damage reduction. Weapons and miscellaneous this time. I kinda miss what wave we're on. It says 95% increased experience gain. We started off with zero because we just died a bunch on very laggy maps. So we're in an area that's 35% delirious, so this has to be wave seven. Wave 8, which has turbo, mini turbo, and anti ailment. And they cause ailments on hit. So it seems like the stuff will spawn kind of a decent distance from wherever you are. So what about if I was standing like over here and I wouldn't spawn even very much down on the beach? This time we are getting it's monster damage, lightning resistance. I actually feel like this layout is much nicer than the Highgate one because there were so many monsters on top of the portal in Highgate, it was almost impossible. Blight and Labyrinth returns this time. Seems like you earn about like four-ish rewards. Maybe a little tiny bit more. Nothing you can Wave do, 10. The dream will end and the dreamer will pass into the next world. I like sometimes I'm hitting a molten shell and it's immediately evaporating off of me. Ooh. Should not have work right there. I like leapt right onto uh, animation slow. Hmm, I'm 
Breathing Queen 5. I think I might use that one. And by the way, we're at level 92 right now, so uh, just like how much experience we're getting in this. Oh, I should have reset my XP. Three rewards now. Reduced extra damage from crits is kind of annoying. Need to go off of my loot filter. Pick them up, anyways. Twenty twelve. Physical damage is cold. Physical damage reduction. Physical damage reduction on me. I feel like if I stop spinning or moving, I'm just going to die immediately. I'm surprised how little laggy this is. Alright, there's a boss in here. Chopped him up real good. Put another boss in there? No. Imagine these being really good for gem leveling. Magma orb chains. Uh, asylum. Oh shit, we are full. It looks like Simulacrum is the only thing that drops those. I haven't seen those drop anywhere else. I mean, maybe the bosses and maps have a rare chance. Ooh, crit multi is very bad. Wave 14. I think this is about when they started getting really hard last time. It was like wave 16 or so. Yeah, being able to see where the slow ground effect is is almost impossible with the fog and all the other stuff that's going on. We just have to realize, hey, it feels like I'm lagging, but actually, that's slow ground effect. Ooh. I don't know what this uh, debuff that's stacking up on me does, but uh, they definitely have reduced the time that those things last, which is definitely nice. Fifteen more crit multi. 
Monsters deal 26% of physical is extra chaos. So luckily we have, what, 36% chaos res right now? War crit multis. This is like crit multi, <laughs> like all day. And they're taking reduced damage from my crits. Ooh. This one dead. I should have popped my Vol Molten Shell there. Your Multis is a really nasty mod. Yeah, this is so much nicer than the other one. Because I can at least get back into the fight without being surrounded by monsters. I think actually being up on up there is really rippy. Paralyzing touches on me as well. This feels like an entire, uh, all right, so. Inflect Brittle. Hmm. This feels like an entire Legion thing. And we have no way of removing Brittle, by the way. And what Brittle does is it drastically increases the critical strike chance on you. Up to a flat 10%, which is multiplied then by uh, the attacker's critical strike chance. So if you have like brittle on you and a crit multi map, you're dead. <laughs> you're just dead. I'm about to start using Vol Molten Shell a lot. Uh, we have 18. So we have Impale, 25% chance to Impale. Turbo, uh, they have physical damage reduction against me, or they have reduced my physical damage reduction. They're gonna cause ailments, and they have a chance to remove a flash charge on hit. What is that mod? What? 40% chance to remove a flash charge? Just don't get hit. I will break you. Everybody told me, just get a Chaos Flask, Don. You'll be fine. Can't uh, Chaos Flask if you can't use flasks. Oh, our Flask Gen seems to be okay. Ooh, there's a boss in there. A boss, boss, boss. Even those guys are tanky. I 
I say he's about the same amount of life as Sirius there. Hmm, you see we got Blighted Map. You're all out of a lot of flasks right now though. Oh, that's my actual flask. Alright, wave 19. We're getting Talisman's Currency, Currency Jewelry. It's all plus 9. Monster Damage, Turbo, 3 additional projectiles, 26% extra is Chaos, and they're removing my charges, which is totally fine, except my Endurance charges. Oh my. Getting Vol Molten Shell. Got Molten Shell up. <laughs> Running down the dock. Hiding away. Shell's back up again. And Shell's gone, running back down the dock. Talismans. Wave 20 out of 20. So I've not yet seen anybody who has beaten Wave 20, and I've not talked to anybody who's beat Wave 20, so this will be a surprise if we get this. But uh, life, they have physical damage reduction, which sucks because we have physical damage. They're dealing extra as cold, and they're inflicting brittle. They are reducing my physical damage reduction. They're penetrating my elemental resistances. That goes great with the brittle. They're causing elemental ailments, and they're causing, uh, and they're doing 30% of their physical as chaos and penetrating 10% as chaos. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I will not be made a fool. Dang. That is a lot of, uh, a lot of damage. I think we're gonna sit in sand stands for this. And they're very tanky. I think my overall damage has been drastically reduced. Woof. Even just hitting a few things hurts pretty bad. Even just a couple of guys. All right, we're gonna let our flask fill up here. All right, Volmont shell, and in we go. Come 
molten shell, and down the dock we go. Holy. Waiting for our all molten shell uh, soul prevention gain to go away. Charge up flasks, let's go. Maybe Pathfinder will be really OP for this. Oof. All the penetration is really sucky and the brittle is very rough. I should probably upgrade this Pantheon so I don't take additional damage from critical strikes. And that is probably something I'm going to do very much next. I need to finish those. Oh god. Leap slam, don't fail me now. Yeah, so I think that uh, this layout is a little bit cheesy because of uh, this. <laughs> this might be the easiest one. Highgate did not have a spot like this I could sit in. Or Hysteria Gate, I guess you could say. Stay a while and let your flasks recharge, Exile. Oh, there's a boss up here! Holy crap! That is insane. Oh my god. I almost got frozen to death by the explosion. Holy moly. That hurts so much, dude. Alright, so the boss dropped down one of his, like, death portals. And to give you an idea, I've, like, killed Awakener 8 deathless on this character. Yes, is pretty much the equivalent of like an entire shaper phase. <laughs> You're not gonna shock this boss. You killed my totem! How dare you! I need him to come down here. Mm. 
Whoa. Oh my god, he's freezing me with crits! So I guess this has a, uh... WHAT?! <laughs> oh my god... <laughs> he's like, why are you hiding, dude? I was gonna say, I guess this is a, uh, kind of an enraged mechanic here, but, uh, it appears it was just, uh, just a phase he was going through. I'm gonna burn here. I'm gonna get the kill right here. Got him. So be it. Keep your precious sanity, my agent of Chaos, you shall serve me whether you like it or not. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's it? That's it? <laughs> And that last boss gave nothing. Oh, by the way, love of this was 75, but everything's supposed to be plus 9, right? So this should be item level 84, but it's actually 75. say this probably isn't worth doing is just my general thought I mean you might get some like nice 84 stuff but the amount of time the amount of uh, you know negative XP uh, this needs some work I like the difficulty it's nice but uh It definitely did not feel like there was a point there where I could have been like outplaying or outskilling. It was just more like monsters coming at me and being thrown at me, uh, which is nice. But, you know, these arenas aren't really set up to be fought in, right? This is like a, supposed to be a town hub. So, like having these little choke points are good for some builds, bad for others. Having this huge dock uh, down here. Like, made it so, like, I could cheese very, very hard thanks to Soul of Slatha. And, uh, yeah, just, I don't think that this is worth it at all. Not at all right now. And that was pretty, like, I was doing it as fast as I possibly can. Don't get me wrong, this is, like, a lot of loot. But, uh, I think it'd be so much better to do other things.